gosh, look at these curls in the front. They did. That is so sad. That is so sad. Please don't get no leave out if y'all ever get like a glue in or something because then you look like me. Anyways, what's up y'all? Welcome, welcome, welcome to my hair color video where I'm gonna be taking my hair to a copper color. Y'all know I love color. Well, you might know that, but if you're new, I am a perfectionist and I just love to color my hair and other people's hair. And I love natural hair too. So welcome to the uni CEO. And um, I just got done washing my hair and I use like this protein shampoo and conditioner. Um, it's okay. I'm not even going to tell y'all what it's called because it wasn't like really, really good. But it said it had protein in it, so I used it. And now I'm about to show you all the preparation of what you got to do to get this color. <laughs> I think it came out great. But let me know how y'all feel in the comments, uh, just because y'all just saw the little sneak peek after the picture. But um, if you haven't already, you know, subscribe, join me, because um, I got some things for y'all. But first, we're just going to jump into this color. So first and foremost, if you didn't already detangle in the shower, because I didn't, you're going to want to detangle your hair using a good detangler brush. This is my alicorn brush from Unicoils. I will link it down below. This is my company, it's black owned. And so we are going to detangle my hair. There is no products in my hair, so I'm gonna be nice and gentle because as you can see, the front is kind of damaged. So I'm just gonna go through like section by section. Um, there isn't a particular way I do this, but I do try to make the sections like a decent size so that when I am coloring that I can like get the color actually through the hair. So this is kind of like the top of my head that I'm doing first. So these are all the products that I'm using. First, you definitely want some gloves just because I'm using this copper color. It might turn my fingers orange. I just don't got no time for that. I brought this, it was a dollar at, or yep, a dollar at the beauty supply store just so I can like pour it on at the end when it guys when I get really like lazy. I brought this, I don't know why, I think I'm just so used to bleaching my hair that I thought that I needed this. I might use it, but I might not. Um, just a black bag or like anything to put down so that you don't stain your sink. Um, I'm using the Wella Color 6RG. Um, it's called Light Copper. Again, this is the Weather Wella 6RG. I love Wella. I feel like it comes really out. The color is always really vibrant, and this is also a permanent color. So, baby girl is keeping her color for um, ever if I can. And I got three boxes of this. You use one of these with every um, like one to two with the um, Wella developer. So. I got this developer, then when I got home, I realized that I got the wrong one. So this is actually the one for blondes, I believe. Because right here it says that, if it'll zoom in, it says that you're supposed to put this with one ounce of painting, painting lightener, which is, I believe, the bleach. And I don't have that, so I'm actually not going to use this because I don't have no time for my hair messing up. But thankfully I did buy some just regular off-brand developer, 20 volume. I should have got a higher volume because my roots are kind of black but whatever and then I mix a little bit of oil with my hair color just because I want to keep my hair nice and strong so I love almond oil because it has a lot of vitamin E vitamin E is like that really thick oil that's like perfect 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 for your hair um if I had some vitamin D I mean vitamin E vitamins I just would have just threw them in there but I actually just ran out I put them directly on my hair every morning just because it promotes hair growth and it helps your hair follicles so that's really all of my products. So next I mix the vitamin E oil, the 20 developer, and my Wella color all together and then I gave it a really nice shake. So aside from actually going to the beauty spot and buying the products, this is like my favorite part because um, it's a, definitely a challenge every time. So you have to make sure that you get it perfect. I definitely should have started from the top of my head and moved to the back, but I'm so used to going from the back up, which is so wrong, that this is all I do. 
so um, now you're just applying the color on to your hair I had to really make sure that I got the roots of my hair even though the roots um, develop really quickly more than your the rest of your hair um, my hair is black at the roots and I only brought a 20 developer I believe or it may have been a 30 but I think it's a 20 so I need to make sure that I saturate all of my hair all of it y'all don't leave no pieces out because you don't want your hair to be blotchy and looking real crazy when you can just really take your time and like penetrate every single curl or every single piece of hair on your hair with that color don't have acid make sure that you buy enough color so that your whole entire head can be one tone if you're doing a complete setting of like a one color also another tip I will give y'all is definitely use foil if um, you feel like your hair needs to develop quicker or you need the color to really um, penetrate the hair faster foil helps me out a lot um, I feel like if I would have went back I would have used the foil on the top of my head instead of the back just because the back um, of course was more color because it was like I put the color on there quicker if that makes sense but you can't really tell it all from the results next I am washing the uh, rest of the color I already rinsed it one time without any soap with um, some warm more on the colder side water lukewarm water and now I am washing it. I love this shampoo. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Then I'm just massaging that conditioner through my hair. And then I simply washed it out. Then after that, I went in with my deep conditioner, which was more moisturizing from Unicoils. Then I washed that out. And then this was the finishing product. Thank y'all so much. And I hope that this tutorial helped you a little bit while you're trying to get that perfect copper color before fall. Good luck.